Hey everybody. So I did a little something that, uh, well, <clears throat> I built my own custom cold air intake, a true cold air intake. Now I want to show you what I did. And uh, I'm just going to throw a disclaimer in here now. If you're not willing to break, you're essentially ruining two intakes. So if you're not uh, ready to do that, don't do this. Don't do it at all. But I just want to show you what I did. And this is completely budget minded. But I hacked off part of that Spectre uh, cold air intake. <clears throat> and I hacked off the bellows part of the stock intake. For the Dodge. This is glued on. So I just chopped it. Will not be using this. But I'm going to keep it. So, might be fun to put the filter on another car. At some point, this part here, I don't even need anymore. But let me show you what I did. So, <clears throat> alright, so what I did was, we still have the stock air box, the stock bellows. Here's the section I cut out of that cold air intake. I got rid of the flat part. And this is going up to the manifold. I have not started the car yet. The only thing I can foresee happening here is it's got really good clearance except for it is sitting on this um, coil. So I'm going to get some of that um, felt tape, just some soft tape. Put that on there so it doesn't rub. But otherwise, it looks like it fits good. Everything's together. This piece and this piece here are... Epoxy. I'm going to epoxy it. I haven't done that yet. But I'm going to epoxy this and then put the clamp back on. So that should stay together. And hopefully this will work out. So let's try it. Just thinking, you'd like to get a true, because those open elements are kind of a hot air intake. <laughs> and after doing extensive research, they don't really do anything but add sound. So I thought, let's do a true cold air intake. Okay, car's running. I don't see any check engine lights popping on, at least yet. Hopefully nothing pops on. It's definitely louder with that tube in there. Let the car calm down a bit. Alright, let's go check it out. Good, no hissing. So, all right, I think we got success. So I'm gonna epoxy this down. Then I'm gonna take the car for a ride on a different video. And uh, we'll see what happens. But we definitely got a. Definitely louder. waiting to see if the car idles down more. Usually when it's warmed up and idling, it idles at around six to 700 RPMs. 
It is currently at a little under seven. But, uh, yeah, we'll do a separate video for the drive because I got no one else to help me work the camera. So I'm going to epoxy that up really quick so that it's good and sealed. And then we'll take the car for a drive and see what it's like. It is a little colder out today and temp gauge isn't all the way up so it's idling a little tad higher than it normally does but you know, I think that's okay. It's sucking in a lot more air. So, Alright guys, stay tuned for part two and um, we'll go from there. So, bye.